Hello and good evening. My name is Yitzi Weiss. Upon graduating from JEC in 1999, I attended New York University's School for Hospitality and Sports Management. Currently, I am a hospitality and gaming specialist at C.B. Richard Ellis' Valuation and Advisory Services practice here in New York City. You know, at this point in time, I'm sure you're asking yourselves a number of pointed and important questions. Given the fact that the next four years of your child's education is, will almost certainly have a profound impact on the rest of their lives, these questions are both valuable and worthwhile. At JHC, the classroom is a place for dynamic learning where we challenge the students and foster academic growth. Our teachers stay on top of their game through continuing education, whereby they're able to learn proper and effective classroom management techniques to really maximize the potential of your sons. One of the advantages we have here at RTMA is that the students are tracked uh, according to their ability level within each subject. So if you have a student who's strong in one subject matter, let's say chemistry, um, they could take it on an honors level track, even if their other subjects are all in, in regular track. That gives each student the opportunity to reach their fullest potential. In college, they have to write papers, so um, I do do a lot with writing. They do compositions almost once a week, how to do research on a literary piece, an analysis of a literary piece. Well, just today, I taught them how to use the graphing calculator in my Algebra II Honors class. And as soon as I did one thing with them, oh, wow! I take a very practical approach uh, to apply the knowledge of Jewish history to practice. My students and I are being trained to be advocates of the State of Israel. What I try to do is take into consideration a few different aspects. One, what the requirements are within the New Jersey education system as far as the curricular itself. I'll expand upon that using a, a model AP curriculum and also take into consideration some of the local colleges, Rutgers University, Keene University, and the curriculum that's covered within their freshman year typical biology class. My most important objective um, as I'm teaching my high school class is to get my students to think. The most important piece that I stress to them is that it's not about an answer. It's not about saying, oh, okay, yeah, is the answer 10? I don't know, how'd you get it? Okay, if you can show me that you got the answer through a, a rigorous process, using a formula, using your brain, using a pencil, paper, calculator, that's 90% of the job. My goal is to give the student an opportunity to show what he can do not to show what you can't do. I have a policy that is, if you enjoy the class, you can learn more. This is the reason that I use a lot of uh, educational gaming class and play song. We have a special karaoke or Spanish class so the students they can enjoy, they can pronounce, and they can learn more. I have a website on Adline where I post everything. So if someone wants an extra credit assignment, if someone needs enrichment, if someone wants to know what was a homework assignment that he missed uh, two weeks ago, he's able to go to Edline. It's a one stop where everything he needs to know about the class is posted by me on a regular daily basis. Ultimately, I rely on my instinct. I know what they need, I see what they need, and if I'm wrong, they'll let me know. Technology really has come full circle, and technology in the classroom has become more integral than ever before. It used to be that textbook-based learning was really the main crux of your educational experience. Today, interactive learning with such technology uses as computers, high-speed internet, and interactive learning tools such as a smart board truly enhance the learning experience. Within the past year or two, uh, smart boards are appearing in more and more classrooms. PowerPoint presentations, video clips, going on the internet, listening to audio files, being interactive, 
is part of the regular instruction. The other day in the history class, um, we Googled something that we were talking about um, immigration or political parties and unions, and there it was right there on the board, on the, on the smart board, which was great. The primary goal of any properly accredited high school is to prepare you for the next level, a full college curriculum. Here at the JEC, they give you opportunities through advanced placement classes to start ahead in your next stage in life, as well as preparatory classes for the ACTs, SATs, and SAT2s, which truly give you that leg up on the next level. The college application process is just quite simply a multi-headed monster. There's so much to keep track of and so much going on that some students look at the process, throw their hands up and say, I don't know what to do. And the goal for us is to help a student say, okay, yeah, there is a lot, but let's take it one piece at a time. I give them AP questions and actual AP tests, old tests or um, practice books that we get. If they come to me and they ask me for letter, letters of recommendation, this is one of the things I really enjoy doing because it really gives me an opportunity to help the students not just in the regular classroom settings but also outside of it. We've had several students that have gone on to uh, pre-medical sciences and they had felt that the foundation that we had put you know, together here had given, given them a strong base, a strong foundation for their future studies. Our junior volunteer program is uh, probably 30 years old at this point and we take students um, who are as young as 15 years old and then as old as seniors in high school. Our relationship with the JEC is one where we're trying to create educational opportunities for the students so that they can get exposure to healthcare professions. Following my experience at the JEC while attending New York University, I did not hesitate to reach out to my rabbim and teachers here at the JEC. They truly enhanced my experience at college and eventually in the business world through their thought, through their caring, and truly through their academic thinking. They come back and visit and you see them in the hallway and they run up to you and, uh, and you know, they tell me what they're up to and it's always uh, interesting to hear back from the students when they come back. I do hear all the time from the kids, thank you so much for teaching me how to write. In fact, this year at the beginning of the year I had um, two of my students actually email me because they were handing in their first English essay for their college class and could I please read it and let them know what it was like so it was kind of fun. One of the fantastic things about this school is how much teachers give of their time to the students. They're always in my room. I'm here early so they are always in my room during their lunch period. They stop in and say hello when they're having their free period in between davening. Once you develop a relationship with a student uh, it's for life. Here we can really become personal with the kids and know what's going on in their lives which is as important as what they're learning. The only way that such a well-organized and academically advanced program can operate is through a solid leadership core. A serious approach to academic rigor, balanced by a fully integrated support system, fosters an environment of growth and success. All this coupled with open-minded and interactive dialogue between the parent body and the administration provides JEC with the tools your son needs to succeed. Speaking from experience, I work for the New York City Department of Education during the daytime. Uh, the, you know, the faculty here and the administration work very closely together and the parents should be very proud of what we have here at RTMA. It seems here that in this setting that the, all the parents care. Education is very important. It's uh, stressed at home. I've communicated with the parents via email, also via you know telephone. Uh, we've had numerous open houses where we'll meet face to face with the parents, give them an opportunity not only to see what we're doing in the classroom, but to give them an opportunity to talk about how their child is performing in class. It's a very involved parent community, very supportive of our needs here as teachers, but also very concerned with the progress of their child. The strength of our faculty is truthfully that we care about our students. In addition to teaching them the subject matter, we care about them as people. Everybody seems to realize that every child is different. And when they come into your classroom, those differences have to be addressed. It's not that you have a class of 20 kids that are all the same. They all have things about them, and those are the things you have to teach too, I think. And I think everybody in the school does that. Well, I believe that JEC produces very, very confident students, well-equipped, and very prepared to enter the real world. The Jewish Educational Center's commitment to excellence is one that we strive for every day in healthcare. And we at Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital Railway are very proud to partner with the JEC. I mean, I've worked at a few public schools. This is the second yeshiva I worked at. This, this place has it all. It has a great building, great facility, great faculty. What RTMA is great at is taking a look at the student and then fitting the classes to the student rather than fitting the student to the class. I want my students to gain from my class 
a relationship for a lifetime. 10, 15 years, maybe 20 years from now, we'll reflect and we'll be able to say that thanks to RTMA, I'm able to do what I'm doing today. JC stands by its mission to educate modern Torah Jews dedicated to Torah mitzvahs, cognizant of their responsibility to Am Yisrael and Eretz Yisrael, and prepared to succeed in the world at large. Thank you for your time and dedication to your child's success. We hope that you enjoy the rest of the evening and that you'll join us in the education of your son in the classroom and beyond.